Well, this is a whole bunch of bad. Just a whole bunch of bad. That's a roof off the old, old some grain bin. semi probably would have been all right, but the grain caught it and pushed it over. The new bin, that's only one year old. It's got some damage at the top, but fix that. A bunch of metal out in the field. Let's see it past the trailer. This guy's brother lives over there. And so I assume he's got damage too because the metal out here in the field came from that direction. This wind generator is still working. It's kind of amazing. It's probably making about a million gigawatts when the wind's blowing 150 miles an hour. I think it's about 6.15 in the morning. I got a text that this damage happened at 2.45 in the morning. It's amazing those maxi coils stayed Put as much as they did. They only weigh 900 pounds. This stuff isn't supposed to be getting wet. Slid a little ways. About two foot. I don't know if the truck was here during the storm or not. It's not all bashed in. Well, I've done some work. I opened this up last night, apparently, to get something out. Might have drugged that out to get the back home out. <clears throat> it's a huge problem. He's not even halfway done planting. I don't know if that can be fixed real quick or not. Little John Deere's This is his pride and joy tractor here. Well, the glass is intact. Big auger cart. It's a little Cam Am four wheeler. Combine. It's 90, 9770. Can't 
tell how much damage that may have not been damaged too bad. The walls just, the posts are just not big enough for this big a building apparently. Oh, here comes the owner, he's out riding around on his four wheeler. We'll get you some more footage later on. This is the east side of the shed. At first I didn't think uh, the coils of tile went very far, but there's tile a mile and a half away. Those maxi coils. Four inch maxi coils. Seven thousand. We'll go inside the shop here. This big pallet rack held the corner of the building. But look inside here. It's a nice cotch pick at one time. All smashed down. Windshield's still in it, but uh, hood's wasted. Top of the cab's wasted. Forklift kind of stopped the door a little bit. Pretty miffed about this sprayer buggy getting smashed and this new cat. But it's only stuff. He's in pretty good spirit concern. He's got, you know, a million dollars worth of damage. That rack held that corner. Wherever the pallet racking is at, held up pretty good. So maybe he'll add some more pallet racking in the corners. Tipped over his big air compressor. This is the old shed that I thought blew down, and, well, of course it did blow down, but they called it the sheller shed. They used to keep their corn sheller in here, and in the recent years, all they used it for is holding their tiling supplies. His phone's been ringing off the hook. Look at the grass, just beat flat. There used to be a bunch of soft maples along the road right here. We took them out a couple years ago because we were afraid they are going to end up on the power lines. Well, power lines went down anyway. 